Hi, welcome to the Mammoth Tech Show. I'm Jeff, and today we'll be looking at the YoBot, or the Big Track Rover, as it's also known. It works in a very similar way to the Big Track, except it uses your smartphone, which it carries around on its back in a spring mounted clamp. Just like the Big Track here, you can program in routines like spin right, then move forward two units, spin left, then move forward three units, that sort of thing. You can also directly control the robot using an app on a separate smart device. The Yobot and Big Track Rover are basically identical with only a logo and colour scheme change telling them apart. I reviewed the re-released Big Track some time ago and it lost none of its original space tank charm. However, the little rover lacks that, as well as its big brother's rosy retro nostalgia. Although quite cute in its own way, the rebadge of the Yobot as a Big Track doesn't really hold water. The setup process itself can be very temperamental just getting the device on its back to talk to the device you're going to control him with can be very frustrating. Control of the little robot probably doesn't work as you expect it to because it doesn't use Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. The little robot actually watches the bottom part of the screen that's held in its clamp. Here we see a pre-programmed routine running and it's the position of those dots at the bottom of the screen that determines how the robot moves. Unfortunately there's no on off switch so those cameras that look out for the dots operate constantly meaning that if you forget to take the batteries out after you've finished using it those batteries will be used up pretty quickly. The Yobot and its Big Track Rover rebranded variant are a few years old now, which may mean you could pick them up a bit cheap, but that does also bring its own problems. If you own an Apple smartphone, you'll probably find you can't even install the app because it doesn't support iOS 11. And if you've got a modern, decent sized phone, it probably won't even fit into the holder. So unless you've got an elderly phone, and a lot of patience, this probably isn't the droid you're looking for. But have you had better luck with smartphone controlled robots? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, go on, give us a like, and subscribe if you'd like to see some more. This has been the Mama Tech Show. Thank you very much for watching. Oh.